Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Now, tonight, what I'm going to do is let you know about this cool new thing I have in front of me. So what this is, this this very heavy, which I, I can't really impart on video. Here, I'll drop it. There, does that, that, that give the impression? Very heavy, small box of what's called Intrism Mini. This is from a new company called Intrism that makes wooden puzzles. Now, the thing is, we have reviewed a number of wooden puzzles at Tabletop Bellhop. Um, from flat, you know, 3D make a majestic wolf to uh, escape room style puzzles like the one you can see behind me here. Now, this is something different. This is a 3D marble run puzzle that you build yourself, which is why it's so flat. This is a puzzle that I'm going to have to assemble. And when I'm done, I will end up with something that looks kind of like this that you're then going to try to solve. No, right now, all I am doing is cracking open the box. I am not actually going to try to build this right now. Now, I may do a video on that, so watch for that to come out. But as for right now, all I'm doing is cracking open the box to show you the component quality, what you get in the box, how detailed the instructions look, and so on. Now, I have not opened one of these before. This is also the first time we've ever worked with Intrism, who I do have to thank for sending us a review copy of this. Now, I will admit, when I reached out to them, I asked for their 3x3 three three puzzle. Can you imagine that? A 3x3? Three three? And they actually said there were some problems with that one, and they learned a lot. And they put everything they learned into this, the mini. So there is also a smaller one than this one. So this is kind of the middle range of their puzzles. Now, it does include um, everything you need. No glue required or anything like that. So let's get to it. I'm going to tip the camera down. Well, not tip it down. I'm going to switch camera angles and show you what you get in the box for Intrism Mini from Intrism. All right. So here you have it. I don't even know the best way to open this. Like, it looks like it should just, like, have... A, an area to open is there tape anywhere that would indicate to me this feels rounded i don't want to break anything like i could just pull this side and break it that doesn't feel right but then this side feels the same i <laughs> step one figure out how to open the box without damaging it and i'm failing because i literally don't see a way so we're just going to pull out the edges here all right. Well, it is what it is. We're just going to snap that and open this up. Perhaps there's a better way to open this box, but I didn't discover it. If you're at home and manage to open it up. Oh, cool. Okay. 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 Even now that it's open, I don't see like a, a, a nice way to have done that. Like I, I, I think basically you do what I just did and rip one of the tabs open and you're good to go. Like, I don't see a, a, a fancy way. So there's a thank you card here. Um, specifically says, tag us, post a video for us a chance to be featured, share your experience, have questions, who packaged it by and who Intrism is and how to get a hold of them. So you can kind of see that there. Thank you, Zach, for putting this together for me. Then we have the assembly guide, which is significantly thick. I'm a, I'm a little shocked by how thick that is. Well, look how brilliant this is. Okay, I don't want to get to this yet. We're going to flip through the instruction guide first because I want to see something. This does not look easy to put together. Now, this does know ages 10 plus 130 pieces. So you can kind of see the size of this book and how thick it is here. That is not a thin book. So we're going to slide this up and I'm going to just kind of... Wow, I don't... So sandpaper. We have, we have a piece of sandpaper that was inside. Um, a bookmark or a sticker. Yeah, I think that's a sticker. So we have an Intrism sticker. Um, it says, start with a clean workspace, lay out all the sheets, use the piece puncher. So there's a piece puncher. Use sandpaper to remember burr. If a piece is too tight, sand it down a little. If it's too loose, continue building. Future pieces may lock it into place. Um, there should be six sheets. It, the marble's glass and sandpaper. There is an online assembly guide at intrism.com slash guide. There's also a step-by-step -step video you can watch in trism.com slash video and fast and free pieced replacements if anything breaks so that's cool and then there's some thank yous here so then we get into how to build it 
And it's all in English, so this is not in multiple places. There's something at the top that says, break a wooden piece, head to Intrism. Oops. <laughs> Intrism.com. Oops. I hope I don't have to use that. I'm going to show this up. So th what I'm looking at here is just at the very top of here. It says, go to Intrism.com. Oops. And I'll stop putting the white thing under the very bright ring light. Um, so yeah, it step-by-step -step shows you how to assemble it. Supposedly no glue. Um, it notes that some pieces are symmetrical and reversible, which is a nice touch. Something you want to know. And goes through... All the steps, like, uh, it, and, like, it looks kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Like, I'm building a stairway here. All right, we're going to flip the end. That's all. Look at this. Look at how many steps. This looks like it's going to take some work. It's, it's, we finally get 108 steps before you get to putting the acrylic on the outside. Um, and then, like, 120 steps total. And then a whole buy the... Oh, there's some codes here. That's cool. Um, if you want to buy one of these, um, get one puzzle, MN15, to get 15% off. Cool. Uh, that should be the end result. So let's take a look at the pieces. Okay, one thing I like a lot, all the extra wood is already cut out. So again, I'm going to jump over here so you can see it. So all the extra wood, that's not a green screen effect. That That is... There are actual holes in the, well, it is a green screen effect, but <laughs> the fact you can see through some spots is because it's see-through. So you're not going to have a lot of extra wood, it looks like. Though it looks like there is some in some area. Um, So there's sheet one, sheet two. Now, the thing I thought was neat is if you look at this little circle hole, that's where the marble is. Oh, let's slide it down. Sorry, my bad. So the marble slowly starting to come out. You got some, these are bendy, bendable. That's neat. Look at the detail. Okay, see. Now, one thing I am not seeing is wow these are, these are so well cut. Like I these could be falling out of my hands. I'm gonna be very try to be very careful and not lose any pieces while I do this. So there you go. I'm now gonna be marble is loose, so glass marble. You can kind of see the size of it there. I have pretty average size hands, I think, which we're now going to put back into this circle up here. Um, these are the actual exits, I think, that go on. So what what scares me, um, they are A, B, C, D, E, F, which is nice, is none of these actual pieces are numbered, like put piece six with piece seven. So that could be get interesting. And then here is, uh, this is the acrylic. And it tells you, I don't know what extrusion direction means, but you're going to have to peel this off, which I don't know if I want to peel it ahead of time. I will admit, um, anyone who is a long time fan of the show knows I am not a fan of peeling anything off acrylic. So yeah, here is your acrylic. What's really interesting is I bet you I could figure out what this said. I feel like there's a puzzle here. Okay, so I think that just sheets. All right, and that's it. So an Intrism sticker, some sandpaper. I'm going to give it like 30 seconds more trying to get this off. Not even 30 seconds. All right, anyway, acrylic sheets, plastic sheets, coated in cardboard so you don't scratch them before you even get going. So that's it. This is what you get with Intrism Mini, which these actually aren't quite square. There, that makes a proper, this is oh, smaller? No, I just didn't have it turned the same way. Um, with the instructions and these, which what I'm gonna do is flip these so that I can then put the marble back in in the top corner. I love the way they designed that so that the marble fits. And then all of this, you shouldn't need to, goes back in the box. But you shouldn't need to put it back in the box, but for my sake, I am putting it back in the box. So don't lose anything before I actually sit down to build this. Oh, it looks so detailed and fascinating. I am really looking forward to building this. But I should save that for some final thoughts. There you have 
what you get in the box for Intrism Mini. So I gotta say that looked really cool. Um, it also looked very detailed. So this does not look like it's going to be easy, but I have to say the laser cutting, the, the way the laser was cut was extremely impressive. Pieces were just falling out. Now I do know there's a poker tool um, that's in there to get the pieces to fully pop out. But I'm not seeing any burrs or any pieces that'll catch, which is extremely impressive to me having built other wooden puzzles. I'm extremely impressed by the quality. Um, nice to see English instructions, I've got to say. Um, other puzzles I built usually come in 8 to 12 different languages, and sometimes the English is subpar. Now, for the rest of the world, though, only English instructions. So if English isn't your primary language... You may have some difficulty with this, though it does look like everything is very graphically based. The instructions didn't have a lot of details or steps. It was just, here's a picture of what to do, do it. Um, that said, there is also instructions on their webpage, and maybe those are available in another language. I couldn't tell you. Now, I am really looking forward to building this Intrism Mini, especially after having it in my hands. Uh, but I have a couple other things I need to get done first. So when I do do that, when I do build this, I am going to record it. Uh, live. So you can find me at twitch.tv slash tabletop bellhop and I will be sure to send out a go live notification when I am building this. So be sure to follow while you're there. Uh, that's about it for this unboxing. Nice and quick. I'm looking forward to it. Looks like a lot of fun. 130 pieces. Little scared that the individual pieces aren't numbered. So I'm, I'm a little worried about that because a lot of them look really similar. But ending up with one of these puzzles, I've never actually done a marble run puzzle. But I think my kids will love it. And I'm not saying I won't love it, but I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to enjoy this. I wasn't a big fan of escape box puzzles, and still I started playing with them. So, fair enough. So that's it for this unboxing. Thank you very much for joining me. If you appreciate our content, you can head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. Other than that, find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. Good day, and game on. <laughs>